Hello everyone and welcome back to Happy Gilmore's Career Mode on EA Sports PGA Tour. This is Crash Conroe and we are about to play the final round of the US Open at Pinehurst. And well, it's not been a great US Open for us. We had a poor round one, rallied back in round two to make the cut by a single shot. And round three just collapsed on the first four holes. We, we actually started to bring it back after that. We played decently, but the first four holes just took it all away really. And it was our worst round um, in terms of the par score since we started this career mode. But we're going to get straight into round four. I just want a respectable round here. I, you know, we're not going to win this thing. But let's see how we do at the US Open. The wind is even further up, I think, than round three. So that could be interesting. Yeah, Russell Henley leads the way at 15 under. Quite a few people in this, look, at the top of the leaderboard. I think we're teeing off first again. We were teeing off first in round three as well. And um, once again, I think we're teeing off again with that uh, amateur, Dustin Abrams. Yep, same pairing as before. But without further ado, let's get into it. The final round of the US Open at the very challenging Pinehurst, guys. Happy Gilmore, can he finish on a high? Three days of competition have led us to this Sunday. And for one solitary golfer in the field, today's the day. Today's the day that a new chapter will be written in major championship history. Today's the day that legends are born or amplified. Today, perhaps, will be the culmination of a lifetime's worth of dreams. Today is the final round of the United States Open. And there we go. EA Sports and the PGA Tour. So proud. Happy to Gilmore's first US Open. For the FedEx. Dead last. Today we 57. We're tied 57, so we are last with a few other players actually. But let's get into Pinehurst once again. Final round of the US Open, and then it will be two quick tournaments again before the final major, the Open. Mother Nature and this course. And trying to beat the so hole one which gave us this is one of the whole basically if you missed round three we got double bogey par bogey double bogey or something like that or i think it was a double par double bogey so we were five over through the first four holes and then we were two under for the rest of the round so like it wasn't yeah <laughs> it wasn't terrible really right I'm gonna start, I'm gonna think about these shots a bit more okay i'm not gonna always drive it if the approach shot is gonna be tough so on this one, I actually, I, I might play a three wood, you know, I might play a three wood because then we have an iron shot to the green or, or a high wedge. And I think that's what we need. This wind is going to be brutal today. But let's try and play this course a little bit better, you know, based on what the stats, it, what Happy Gilmore stats are now, which is we have everything in power. You know, we're one skill point off maximum power. Shot right, up, see, this is better. Now we now we actually have a club for this one. So we're 118. It's slightly uphill. I think the wind is going to slow it down a little bit. So I might actually bring out the 50 degree. Or is that too much? That might be a bit too much. Oh, yeah, 54 degree. If we play it full, that's plenty. That's fine. Right, the approach on the first... It's still a little bit short, and it's still going to roll away. Okay, we could have clubbed up. We could have clubbed up. <laughs> That's actually gone off the front. Okay. Alright, well, the pin... We're in. We're just in trouble if we go too long, because it will go off the back. But, of course, we've got to make sure it gets there. You know, I know it's a pitch, but the wind is still going to slow it down a little bit, at least. So, yeah, let's see. That should no, it stopped immediately. Oh dear. We're struggling again on the first. Yep, needed to give it more. And I think I think the wind actually plays a big factor with those pitch shots when it's this strong. I think it does actually kill it. But this is for power on the first. And if we don't get this, we're starting with a bogey again. Oh, 
Oh, it's really close. It's actually broken too much at the end. But we're going to start round four where we left off, really. We have not done well on that whole one over the weekend. Over the week, I mean. And now we are dead last because uh, we're, we're one of two players that have started their round four. And I literally said at the start of that, I want to manage this course a little bit better. And then it doesn't matter because I get the approach wrong. You know, it's all about the approach, really. Okay. Right, this one's a bit longer, so I can drive this. All right. Drive's gone straight. Wind is bringing it back to the left. And it's a good drive. Good drive by Happy Gilmore. And if you're new to this series, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And remember to leave a like on the video as well. Admittedly, this hasn't been our best uh, major. It's probably been our worst, feels like. But there's still one more to go, and it's still a lot of fun anyway. I mean, I like the challenge. It's good that the US Open is actually a challenge, you know. Okay, so the wind, I think, is going to slow this down. Right, I'm basing that on what happened on hole one as well. So we're going to hit a 7-iron to this one. It's gone left on me straight away. You know what, though? It's still not that bad. I mean, it's going to roll off to the left because of the wind, but if it wasn't for that big kick to the left, which I couldn't really do anything about, that's right by the hole. It doesn't. I, I can't actually see a lot either. You know what? I'm just going to aim straight at it because I don't know. I don't know which way this is turning. Can't tell. Oh, it's slightly to the right. Okay, fair enough. I mean, if I was going to aim anywhere, it was going to be to the right of the hole, so it wouldn't have gone in anyway. That's good. Good? That's good? I was between good and cool, and I said could. It's all good, happy. All right. Plus one. Oh, man, I don't want to finish over par for the whole thing. <laughs> over a four-round tournament. Come on, let's get it going at Pinehurst. I mean, honest, I genuinely don't think we'll have a tougher course to manage than this one. All right, let's think about this one, though, okay? Because the, the pin is at the back. Do we want to be able to... Hit a okay, partial driver, I think. Gone left, but it's going to be okay. Well, you can't walk out yeah, that's fine. Now this is going to be an iron shot, probably, which does mean if it lands in the right place, still a tough shot, but if it lands in the right place, it will just sit there. So I think this is, I mean, this might be more than a pitching wedge with how strong this wind is. And the pin is above us as well. Do we need an iron iron, do you think? Or is that too much? I'll, I'll, I'll go nine, but I'll dial it back. Dial it back as much as we can. Let's try it. Look at that big slow. Not bad though, it's actually gone straight. And it is going to come back. I mean, it's a little bit far. It holds the green at least. Alright, overestimated the wind a little bit there. And this is absolutely going to turn left. We can see that already. Going to turn left. It looked like it was going to turn left really hard to me. Not bad. Go on then. Oh, it's close again. Really good on pace, though. Really good. 10 feet. 10 feet, 10 inches is what I meant to say. Okay. Yeah, it's a shame we got the club a little bit wrong on the approach because it did go straight. Despite the big slow we got. I mean, that is the, that is the randomness of this game sometimes. Right, par four. Fourth hole, 529 yards. Not going to power drive it. I just don't want to risk being in the rough on this one. I'd be in the rough anyway, because that's shot off to the left. No, it's fine. I was aiming that quite far right, I guess. <clears throat> okay. 219, it's a tough hole anyway. Let's just put this in a decent spot somewhere on or around the green. I think I think this is just one where we aim for the middle. We have to club up as well. I think it's got to be a four iron here. Still don't know if that's going to be enough, but I'm not going to hit more than that. I think it went left on me. No, nope, that's actually not bad. It's actually a little bit long. Is it going to hold the green? I mean, it's, it's pretty good. 20 feet. The conditions are even, like, tougher today, so... 
it's going to be hard to score, you know, with this wind. This one is... Yeah, sorry, I was listening to Nota's words there, but yeah, that is really downhill, this part. I do think it's going to turn right, though. Right, for birdie on a long par four. Now nah, we got the we got the uh, direction all wrong there. Okay, I mean, it was almost straight in. I ain't that quite far left because I thought it was going to turn right, and it didn't. Okay, that one finished. Not a bad par though. It's a tough hole. It was a good approach, all things considered. And now we move on to a hole that we need to score on the par five. There's only two of them on this course, as we know. Really tough course for Happy with his current stats. And we won't be back here for another three seasons, at least, in the career mode. For all we know, they might be updating the game next year as well with whatever US Open course that is. I'm not actually sure off the top of my head. But I guess after this, it's going to reset back to the year one courses. So, yeah, it will, we will be back here in like three seasons, I guess. Right, I'm going to power drive this one. The, the wind is with us. We have to go for this. Bang. Straight as an arrow once again. That's what we like to see. That should carry on quite a bit as well. It's going to roll off to the left a little bit, but so much distance on that. So much distance. Slow down now, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, might be obscured by the trees now, but that is a massive drive. 186 yards to the green now. Right now, tailwind in this game really pushes it forward. Like it's, it affects it so much. The only thing is, it's uphill, so I feel like pitching wedge might overall be a bit too short. So we'll bring a nine iron, one six one. Hopefully, this gets close. It's not quite full tailwind anyway. Bit of underswing. Come on, wind, do us a favor. That's a little bit short. Yeah, I think it was mainly the elevation there that left that short. Didn't quite get that one right, but we are still there for an eagle. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, we have to add a lot of pace to this one. A lot of power, and I think it's going to turn left. But let's at least get a birdie, please. Happy for an eagle. Yeah, it's turning way more, but the power was pretty decent. Yeah, Two feet away now for a birdie, a and this should get us back to even par. So now eyeing this one for birdie. And we do. All right, back to even. Back to even for the championship. We are right at the foot of the leaderboard. Oh, we're not anymore. We're 58th, but it could be tied 58th. You never know. That's the goal right now. Just don't finish last. Don't finish last, Happy. That's what it's come to. In our third major. God, we were fourth at the PGA Championship. Granted, that was a much easier course. All right, Tailwind, I think, is going to affect this one a lot. With the long irons, I think it does affect it more. Because it's going to roll. It should roll a bit on the green as well. And this is downhill. It's just veering off to the left. It needs to go the other way. Oh, man. God, that slight left hook has cost us dearly there. Like, look at that. Man, that really has been the story of the tournament, I feel like. Not that I've played... Not that I've judged things well myself either, but... Just the RNG, when it really counts, it doesn't... It hasn't, I, don't, I feel like it's not been in my favour, you know? Right, once again, we have to get a pitch right. So we don't have the headwind this time, and it, but it is uphill still, and it's... Um, yeah, it's all uphill, so... I still don't want to give this too much. Okay, well, again, it hasn't really rolled out. I'm getting these wrong a little bit, these pitches. If it's on an uphill, you need to give it more. Like, if it's uphill, you need to give it more because it's going to slow down quickly. We need to save par now. We're not going to, it's lipped out. Straight back to over par. Straight back to over par for the round and the championship. And I'll be honest, you can forget about what I just said about story of the tournament because the only reason we've got two bogeys are because I've got the pitch power wrong. Nothing to do with the RNG, those ones. It's me. <laughs> it's me hitting it in the wrong spot. 
Like the RNG puts us in that position in the first place, but I need to do the work from there, and I've not been doing it. Well, that went flying off to the right. Is that going to hit trees? Oh my god, what a tee shot. <laughs> Jesus. That's the second time. That happened in round three as well. Happy, like, please close your eyes a little bit, man. But yeah, oh, that's actually not benefited us, though, because now we've got this again. Okay. Um, right, what's the play? I think we might have to pitch it then, might we? And this, this worked out before. This actually worked out for us, didn't it? But the tailwind is making me nervous. I don't really know how this is going to... How, how long this is going to carry. Or I'm going to go over Lob Wedge. As crazy as that sounds. I feel like the wind is going to do a lot to this. It does. Look at that. Oh my god. I mean, it's a decent shot. It's going to roll off the left again. Like, c come on. I, I saw that left dispersion. I didn't say anything about it. But that shot off to the left for no reason. Like... I wanted that to go right, and now we're, we're not, now we're in this position again. Flop circle's just too big for me. Still want to? I don't want to play the flop. All right, still short. Still short. Four point one percent underswing. I'm hoping this one's mostly straight, otherwise we're going to go to two over. Down the other way. Wow. How does that not go in? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that rule I have about not using the overhead grid lines when we're on the green, this is by far the worst course for that rule. That we've had so far. By far. Because like to, to give to have any chance at a lot of these, I, I just have to read that before I get to the green, to be honest. But it would it would make this round so much longer because I have to have to basically memorize where the parts on the green are going. And because Happy's accuracy isn't all there, you know, it might go off from where I'm looking at, from where I'm trying to aim, and then I don't know what the grid lines are like. Okay, I'm going to try and do it by speed, okay? Right, I've memorized it. Let's go. <laughs> we have to hit the right club here, though. This is quite hard into the wind, this one. Five iron approach, then. Please tell me that distance is good. This could be a good one. Yes, come on, get down. Okay. It's good. Six feet. I can't remember what way it's turning from there. <laughs> it's a really good shot, though. Oh, is it left edge? I'm going to go left edge. This is for birdie. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Back to one over. Oh, boy. 59th. So there's one player either doing worse or as good as us right now. That was a really good approach, though. Well read on the power. As we go to the next one. Is this a 9 or an 8? I, I guess an 8, but I'm going to dial it back. Okay. All right, I've underswung that quite a lot. Yeah. That's my fault. Sorry, Happy. That's my fault. I've done that in an awful position as well. I, d I shouldn't have underswung that at all. Did not have to, because I dialed back the marker as well. All right, well, it's another one of these pitches that we haven't been getting right for a lot of today. I, I, I think it's been the cause of all three of our bogeys. We've just got these shots wrong. Oh, my God, and that's gone soaring off to the left. That was mainly because of the wind. I need to remember, like, the wind on this game, it still affects those shots quite a lot. And we might be looking at another bogey, believe it or not, from a pitch off the green that we just haven't been able to get up and down. But can we save it? Yes, we can. Yeah, All right. We finally save nine. one, but it is another over par front. One over. We're 58th. We've actually gone up. <laughs> We've gone up on the last two holes. 
the par five ten. And here is the other par five. Just been very nervous around the greens with those pitch shots. I feel like they were better early on in the tournament, but maybe not. I don't know. Just not got those ones right. And I feel like once we can put skill points into other things, I think the priority is just getting some more shot types. I don't know. I'm in two minds. Whether to prioritize just getting a, a bunch of different shot types or hard focus on like accuracy, you know, <laughs> with some of the other shots, like the approaches, for example. I do definitely want the finesse shot, though. I think that's the first thing we need to do. Get the finesse shot so we can... We won't be in between clubs as much. All right. So for this one, I'm going to smash an approach with a three wood. If it goes right, it's not the end of the world. At least it's not going to hit the trees. Okay. It's going to be in the bunker. All right. That's fine. That's fine. It would have been just as tough a shot if we were in the fairway from this kind of distance. So I'm not that bothered. Okay. So again, we're into the wind, and it's going to turn left as soon as it lands. Go left, go left. You know, I just shot off to the right when I hit it, which again isn't really down to me, but it's not bad. It still does come back to the left a little bit. Really downhill, this one. I don't think this is going to turn all that much. I think this is just going to shoot down that hill. This is for birdie on the par five. Yes, we got it right. We got it right, and we're back to even for the round. Russell Henley still leads the way. Of course he fucking does. He's not teed off yet. I think we're going to be done by the time the leaders are teeing off. But yeah, seeing the, seeing the winner will be interesting. Is anyone else going to win two tournaments this season? Because we are still the only player to do that. Which is... Mostly why we're top of the rankings in the FedEx Cup standings. Okay, full drive here is fine. I, was, I just wanted to check where the pin was on the green. But it's at the back. And we've got tailwind anyway, so that's fine. Because when the tailwind is this strong, if you hit a 60 degree wedge to a green, unless they're super soft, it will sit. It won't spin all the way back. So in this case, it's fine. And I think this is going to be the club as well. Might be too short, actually. Okay, it's got to be a 54, which might actually go too long. But I might just do a little bit of a partial if I can. Right, what well, we did. Sit. Please sit. Okay, it's not bad. Not bad. 60 degree definitely would have been too short. I can say that. Okay, level. Um, I think it might be turning to the left, just based on those little what those little arrows are telling me. Not sure if that's a good indicator or not, but I think it's going to turn left. It looks like it, at least, just from the eye. This is for birdie. Oh, it does turn left, you know. It does turn left. I hit that a little bit hard. We just gave it a little bit too much. And we're going to tap in the par. Come on, let's get under par. <laughs> let's get under par for the championship. Come on, Happy, you can do it. So, yeah, this is a real test. Real test. And you know what? This, this kind of motivates me to keep this going for three seasons. As crazy as that sounds. Because I want to come back here. I want to come back here and uh, conquer this course when we have some accuracy in our game. I mean, I will say, as long as we have that rule where we can't read the grid lines once we're on the green, it will be tough yeah, either way. Right but we'll, we'll at least hopefully avoid a lot of the bad lies we're giving ourselves, you know? So, you know, less bogeys. Okay. I think 9-9 nine -nine is okay here. Shot off to the right, but that might be good. Actually too short. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. Oh man, it looked good initially. That's a real shame. If we hit eight iron, that would have been okay. 
All right, well, we've got a pitch again. <laughs> we've got another one of these pitches, and it is up the slope again, and again it's Tailwind, so do not take too much off of this. There you go. There you go. See, I, th I think it does. I think it does slow down way harder when it's Tailwind. Headwind, sorry. There we go. Okay, that's much better with the pitches. That has literally been why we've got the three bogeys. Like, all of them... All of them came from that. Just bad pitch shots from just off the green. Alright, par four. This one's only 385, so let's think about this tee shot here. Pins in the mid... Uh, yeah, pin is in the middle of the green. But the wind is with us. So is it worth just smashing this up there? It's a little bit um, skewed though. Like, I think this is going to go in the rough on the left if I do that. Alright. No, I actually think on this, this time that is not the play. I can't really tell, like, where I should aim this. But I am going to hit a 3-iron. And that's gone right. That might be in the bunker now. <laughs> oh, no, it's cleared it. Okay, that's that's good. That's perfect, then. Still goes that far as well. That's still gone really far. 80 yards. Oh, that's, that's still further than I wanted. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, uh, what did we do last time? We, we still played a pitch. It's up the hill. Okay, it's really uphill, so I think we need a longer, a longer wedge for this. But it's, it's just we're with the we're with the wind, so that's the only thing we've got to be mindful of. Please slow down. Come on, hit those slopes and slow down. It just doesn't slow down, man. What's the difference between a full pitch like that and a short one? I, I, I think it's just the wind. I do think it's just the wind that affects the rollout on those. Very poor from that range. What the fuck up? <laughs> I've had it with these commentators. I know I'm playing bad. I don't need you to remind me. Alright, well this is a birdie putt. Still. Doesn't have the legs. Okay, I did, un I did underswing that quite a lot actually. 1.8%. That's not very good. I was just a bit mindful of the slope past the hole. But it is going to be another par. And once again, it's just a steady round. We've only really had one good round in this tournament and even then it kind of collapsed a bit at the end because it was going to be a five under round or a six under round but then we got two bogeys at the end and it just became a four under round but i mean four rounds like that we'd place a lot higher <laughs> don't get me wrong but i'm uh i think happy gilmore's just about ready to see the back of pinehurst for now until he gets some accuracy in his game it's going to wind up safely in the fairway. But we've got a few holes left. God, We're still even par. I mean, that still is the goal for now. Just try and get to even par for the championship. All right. I was too short. This is directly into the wind. So I'm going to bring out a 7 iron. That looks like it's gone left a bit. The wind is slowing it, though. It's still short. Oh, my goodness. So if it's directly into the wind. We do need to add a lot. It's not bad. It's just like, again, it would have been really close if it didn't veer off like that. Uh, that is just what we have to expect. Okay, this one is almost straight in. Just got to give it the right amount of power and hope the dispersion does me not dirty. <laughs> and it's done me dirty straight away. I, I bet on this game the wind actually affects the chips as well, you know. I would not be surprised. If it affects the chips. Alright, it's another par. He again, look, for the last seven holes, we've been two under. Just a shaky start again. I, I don't know, I guess we've just been really struggling on those first few holes. Okay, four holes left. No easy scoring chances. So we're going to need some magic somewhere if we do want to finish under par here at Pinehurst. All right, really strong tailwind, which makes this one double tough. To the point where I feel like a 9-9 nine -nine might be... No, a 9-9 nine -nine is surely way too short, right? Let's hit an 8. All 
that's gone. That that's that's that swing is absolutely terrible. How is that four point two percent slow? And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot. Well, maybe I need to change the swing animation because is it me or do I hit it slow quite a lot? Right, okay. And I've had it with this par three, this one. <laughs> like I've not scored well on it at all throughout this tournament. And this is such a tricky pin now as well, because this, if this goes too far, it's just off the back. Okay. Yeah, see, we don't have to, we don't have headwind there. What a pitch, by the way. We don't have headwind. And the green isn't uphill. And it does roll out in that case. Like, it does roll out that hard. But that's a really good pitch. And we should be saving par from here. And we do. All right. Well played. Well played. Come on. We're just, just one birdie on the last three holes. Where are we right now? We're 55th. So, I, unless we collapse on these last three holes, we're not going to be dead last. And I actually think it's still going to be a better position than the Masters, right? Okay, I'm not going to power drive this. I know it's a long par four, but it's just not worth it, I don't think. Still slow. I'm going to check the swing animation once this round is done. Because I think I might need to put it on the slowest swing animation if I haven't already to match my kind of tempo that I swing the stick with. Because I feel like, I've, I've only just noticed really, but I feel like I hit slow really often. Right. And it is not downhill actually. It's to the left. Okay, 9-9 nine, nine, I guess then. Wind should push it a little bit forward. Slow again. Yeah, I'm actually consciously trying to push it quite fast as well now. Yeah, so that's going to be something to look at. Ball's still gone too far there. 39 feet for the birdie now. Yeah, the conditions. I mean, we're doing better this round compared to round three, and the conditions are tougher, so I guess we'll take that for something. Yeah, it's been a windy weekend at Pinehurst. And that part is really close, actually. I was so close to going in. But it's not enough. Breaks a bit too much. And it's going to be another bar. I went to say birdie then. It kind of sounded like I said bar. So another bar. Another bar for Habby Gilmore. Leaders still haven't teed off. Go on, Fleetwood. Go on, Tommy. Alright, this par 3. Another really difficult par 3 that we've struggled on over the weekend. Can't wait to see the back of this one for now as well. <laughs> to be quite honest. I think the wind... I know it's downhill, but the wind is going to do something to this for sure. It was 7-9 it is. Well, the wind is doing something. I was right on that. The wind is doing a lot. A lot more than I thought. He's fist pumping these shots now. Happy, how far have you fallen? That's not a good shot, man. <laughs> okay, so it's uphill, but we don't have the headwind. So I'm going to aim here. There you go. Really good again. Okay. Lovely pitch shot. Yeah, for the most part in this tournament, we haven't got those right. Those have been off, and they have been better in the past. And I know the greens are tough for it. But yeah, a lot. it's a shame, really, because all three bogeys in this round came from that. Shots like that, and they were, they were not necessary. Because that's where we have to be good, because Happy Gilmore is going to miss the green sometimes, because he doesn't have the accuracy. So, like... In that situation, our scrambling game has to be good, and we don't have all these shot types. Like that's that's where a lot of the fun challenge comes from for this career mode so far, because I I just have to pitch the flop and the chip. Like that is all I have, and it's quite fun to actually have to use those shot types because you know you, you get the spinner later on and uh, different kinds of flop shots and. 
you get more accuracy and it just becomes like you get the pick as well from the bunker which is just like a real a real get out of jail type of shot the pick but yeah when it's this point and you don't have those shot types yet it's actually like pretty fun the difficulty because this game overall is not that difficult is it like we all know this so okay anyway enough yapping i do think this is the club for this one 60 degree I just really hope it doesn't go over the back. That's my main hope here. Wind is pushing it. It's not bad. And yeah, tailwind, it sits there. It's actually still short. We're going to have one part on the final hole. Not an easy one. But this so is for a body. Players can focus so much on the break, they forget about the slope. This has to be hit a little firmer than normal. We do have to hit it hard, and it is going to turn left. Come on, Happy. This is to finish under par at the U.S. Open. Oh, it's close. I, you know what? If I don't underswing that, I think that's in. But I didn't hit it as hard as I meant to, and it does turn off at the hole. Good effort. Decent effort in the last round, but again, just a, a few holes early on cost us a decent score. So we're even par for the round. Who takes it? Who takes the open? Where has Fleetwood, Fleet, Fleetwood has disappeared? Okay. <laughs> it's a pure US leaderboard there. Andrew Putnam wins it. 16 under. Okay, so... I mean, those scores are a bit more realistic, right? That's that's one of the... That's definitely the worst major winning score we've had so far across four rounds. 16 under, so... Yeah, maybe they were taking the course into consideration there. None of these scores are that good. Russell Henley was leading. Even par. Andrew Putnam overtakes them. Okay, Cam Davis still got eight under. <laughs> so uh, there are still people out there scoring ridiculously well. Fleetwood, what happened, man? Three over. That's what I got in round three. What are you doing? So we finish the US Open T54. We do overtake... Some of the players there. Someone finished two over, dead last. Some people got to one over. Where's that amateur that we were playing with? Dustin Abel. Oh, four under today. Oh, go on. <laughs> and they uh, leapfrog Akira Abe, the other amateur from Japan, who had a terrible last day. But there you go, guys. That is the US Open done. It wasn't our week, unfortunately. It was always going to be tough at Pinehurst. And I made a lot of mistakes. And Happy Gilmore's accuracy kind of did us dirty sometimes but i think in general it is my fault more than his that we didn't do better than that but we have one more major to go in the season and before then we're going to do a little another little couple of warm-up kind of uh tournaments and we are going to play tara itty golf club at the kiwi championship we're going to go to new zealand and the dominican republic basically we're going to play these two dominican open you actually have to qualify for um, which we have already. I don't know why there's two bits of music playing. I'm sorry about that. We're going to skip Lighthouse Point because uh, I don't think Lighthouse Point is that interesting of a course, especially compared to these two. So I, yeah, I want to play these two and then it will be the Open at Royal Troon. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Remember to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will warm up for the Open Championship. First up, the Kiwi Championship at Tara Iti Golf Club. So join me for that in a few days. Thanks very much for watching, guys.